hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Copenhagen, Denmark. And today it's kind of a cloudy, it's a pretty cold day, but we decided we're gonna take the bike out. If we're gonna go to the park, we're gonna have a lunch. Um, and then later this afternoon, we have a canal boat tour of Copenhagen. And so we're gonna take the boat, we're gonna go around, we're gonna see some of the amazing sights of the city. The city is beautiful. And then later tonight, we have a unique dinner planned local Danish food. We're getting ready to bike around. This will be fun. This is the local way to get around. So many people bike, cycle here, and the roads are just made fantastic for cycling uh, so we are on our way uh -huh. okay and we're off <laughs> this bike rides really smoothly also this is like a touring bike uh, but this is the way to get around Danish style I love it oh brakes are kind of loud I'm really getting a workout here. This is a cool place. Carlsberg something. This is the Carlsberg Business Center. But they're doing a lot of construction around here. I think. Made it to the main road, made it to the park. I definitely worked up an appetite riding up that hill. Oh, Thai massage, man. Oh, Thai massage. Oh, yeah. And now just gonna take a little walk in the park before we go eat lunch. But there's so many just gorgeous parks in Copenhagen. So many green spaces, so many historical buildings. And I just love how the, the parks are very quite natural. I mean, there's, there's a lot of uh, landscaping, but at the same time, you really feel like you're in the countryside, in the nature. The parks are gorgeous. Like a go. Oh, we can get pretty close. And here's a really nice section of more of what I'm talking about, the style of park that I really like, which is like keeping it natural growth, but kind of controlled. Foresty, a forested park. Yeah, I love it. And we're just coming now to some water, more water uh, with a little bridge going across. We're back after walking around the park for a few minutes. Cool. And we, oh. <laughs> okay, up a small little ledge. Uh, we're gonna go, it's like right down the road for lunch. It's very, very close, bye. And so the restaurant is just on the outside of the park. It's called Hansen's Gamle Familhav. Not totally sure how you pronounce that, but this is a, a really classic, I know, old, historical, just a classic family Danish food restaurant. Okay, for three, please. Yes, this is an amazing restaurant. It's kind of like a patio, but enclosed patio area. It's warm in here, um, and we're here very close as they open, so it's not not that many people here. But you can tell this is the type of a family restaurant where a lot of people would come, where it has like a, just a great atmosphere. It's like cottage style. I love it. Oh, okay. okay. You can look, and it, they're comes. quite big. So if you choose from here, our waiter is very friendly as well. Two different menus to order from. One is the cold sandwich, Danish traditional cold sandwich menu. Oh, all different types of bread, different types of herring, and. Oh, yo! Wow. So, so this this is just the first part, and then other yes. parts come. Yes. Awesome. So, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. And so and then no you just, rice. 
And no rice. No bread. Okay. Here's a, <laughs> got bread. Different kind of bread, okay. right? And here's two types of hearing. And it's, uh, this is a sponge hearing and a marinated normal hearing. Okay. Smoked salmon. Smoked salmon. Fill a place with a homemade nice. cucumber dressing. Nice. That's for the fish. Okay. Yes. And a chicken salad. And chicken salad. Yes. And then the basket of bread all together. It's so beautiful. Like, I love the fish. The breads are so good as well. I think I'm gonna take. He said this is a. He said this is a lard. So that's like pork butter. Um, maybe I should use a knife for this. He said spread this on. It goes really good with the herring. Oh, a little lard. Okay, that'll be good for now. And then two different types of herring. Should I put mustard on the bottom first? I'm gonna put, I think this is mustard. Okay, put this on. I'm not sure if this is the, no. This is some of the spiced herring, he said. Put this on, some of the onions. Okay, it's that good? Anyway, I can't wait to try it. Oops. Okay, um, yeah, I'm not totally sure the best method and practice of eating and how to make them because this is really our first time to try it. Uh, but we're just, I think, I think that works for me right now. Uh, come on, look. Mm. Oh, that fish, the herring is amazing. It's like so soft and like cool and refreshing. You've got that sweet mustard, the rich lard, and then the bread. I love this bread. Like cakey in texture. <coughs> and now ate some more herring. Now moving on to the salmon. On to the bread with some dill. Mm. Oh. Salmon, that is amazing. The cured salmon, it's really soft. The, the texture of the bread, I just, I just love that bread. The chicken salad with bacon on it. Mm. Well, the platter is finished. I didn't even know at first, but that's only the first part of the meal. Um, so after that, he's gonna bring the hot food. I think it all comes together in the whole lunch platter set. So now hot food. Oh man, you've got to really pace yourself. Oh, here it comes. Wow. So this is a, a French cheese. Okay. And uh, this is a pork tinder with a fried onion. Part two is here. This is another platter. <laughs> Look at that skin. Okay, I'm gonna start with the, okay, I'll just pick up the skin. That's irresistible. Oh wow, it's so crispy, it's so salty. Mm. Oh wow, that's good, okay. Some of the pork, roast pork with some of, I think you eat it with the, the braised purple cabbage. Is it okay to just eat it off of here? And in contrast to the skin, the actual pork meat is like very lean tasting. Okay, now for the pork tenderloin. Those onions smell amazing though. Okay, onto my plate, the pork tenderloin with some of the, the pickles. I think I'll sprinkle on some pepper. With pickles, I wanna get a lot of those onions. Those onions look amazing. Mm. This is like a an extremely comforting pork steak. Those onions just melt in your mouth. They're so soft, they're so tender. Mm. And with that pepper. I guess I think it's dessert with the, the grapes and the brie cheese, so I will dig in. Oh man, that's a lot of cheese to end your meal. All over the grape. Mm. Mm. That combination. The richness of the cheese, the juiciness and sweetness of the grape. You almost, when you're eating in there in the warmth, you almost forget how cold it is outside. Uh, but that was, that was a huge lunch. That was delicious. 
What a rush shot though, I loved it. The traditional style. And if we had more time, we, that's the type of place you could sit, you could relax for a while and just slowly eat. But we've got to move because in about an hour from now we have the canal tour, uh, canal boat tour. And so we got to ride the bicycle back to the apartment, park the bicycle. Then I got to find, figure out how to get to the canal where, we're, where the boat pier is. <laughs> yes. Hello, can we go to Ophelia Platz? You know, we're on our way to a place called Ophelia Platz, which is the, that's the boat pier that we're leaving from. Gonna be taking a boat, uh, a boat trip with a company called Hey Captain, and then we're gonna be going around the canals. But we're right here on the port, right next to the Queen's Palace. Step right here. Step. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah, oh, nice. <laughs> um, so I'll take you around for two hours. If there's anything like specific you'd like to see or know, you just let me know. It's a mixture of uh, white wine. Wow. And apple juice and ginger lemon lemonade. This is a serious luxury treatment boat. It's beautiful though, and uh, you can get a drink. There's coffee, there's tea. I got something called Glog. Glog. Uh, there's a mixture of white wine, apple juice, and ginger lemon. Some kind of drink. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's so good. Do you like it? Yes. <laughs> it's so good. Like, it's like apple juice, but with a, a wonderful, wonderful white wine, like, feel and like punch to it. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna begin by going through the old uh, city of Copenhagen through the old canals and then we're gonna stop along the way at various places at various sites and various historical landmarks and then continue on from there. Christian's Tom. Christian's Haum. Haum. Christian's Haven. All right, all right. Harbor. All right. Um, yeah, it's an area built in the 1600s. It was made by uh, sinking sailboats, rocks, and waste into the harbor. So beautiful, the uh, architecture, the buildings, the peacefulness of the water, the harbor, the boats parked on either side. It's just, it's just stunningly picturesque and beautiful. Okay. Again, and that is the known as the Black Diamond, which is the National Library. Uh, but we're moving in on what is one of the oldest, the oldest part, the historical center of Copenhagen. Okay. Ready for some some coffee. This we've walked around a little bit on the streets and it's also amazing to walk around the streets. Uh, but being in the boat, the peacefulness of the canal uh, the being able to see the sights without the traffic, um, it's, yeah, it's a different perspective and it is stunning. Se 
sailed all the way out to an island with a fortress. What's just amazing so far about this entire tour and getting this perspective of Copenhagen is seeing the old and the new. There's like incredible buildings, modern state-of-the-art designed buildings right next to just historical ancient buildings. And then another thing is how in Denmark, in Copenhagen, they've done an amazing job to make industrial areas or factories look cool as well and even repurpose kind of like industrial buildings that are not in use anymore repurpose them as art spaces as restaurants that's something that they do so incredibly well navigate our way over towards the little mermaid there it is that's the little mermaid statue it's actually very small on a rock, uh, but a very, very popular place. As you can see, lots of people, lots of photos. There's a crowd, but cool to see it from this side, from the back side. It's sprinkling now. I got the chills, man. Oh, but that was a beautiful, um, yeah, just an amazing perspective to see Copenhagen from the water. Thank you very much to Hey Captain and to Visit Copenhagen for arranging that for me. We are back in our area of town now, which is called Vestebra, I think. Uh, but for dinner tonight, we were invited. We got tickets from Visit Copenhagen to go to I don't know the full story of the restaurant and cafe, but it's in an old church that has now been converted into a community center uh, where every evening people from the community from this, from this neighborhood, they gather for a family-style dining experience. This is an amazing, like the entire floor is just packed full of people. It is a full house, like community neighborhood dining, and I don't think the food has been served yet because we're like five minutes early, but they said we should actually show up should have showed up earlier uh, because then they start selling tickets. But anyway, we got a seat. So I just stepped back here. You come to the, the coffee shop here to buy drinks, but they are preparing the food. They're just gonna serve the family style. All the platters of food are ready to go. That's a lot of awesome food. Wow. Oh, it smells so good. Hi, and welcome. I'm Christine. Meget højt det der, er det Hi. Um, welcome to. So you all some good. It's kind of by every table, three people go up and they get the food and then put it on the communal table and you share with whoever. Thank you. Thank you very much. One more. Thank you. Sure. Thank you very much. Yes. Is it pork? Uh, it's you know it's pork? Uh, Oh, turkey, nice, yeah. okay. Okay, so the meat that I thought was either pork or chicken, it's actually turkey, uh, but that turkey smells really good. Uh, so you bring it all to your table and you share all together, you slice it out, you divvy it out. Uh, there's turkey, there's a chili sauce, there's a salad with green beans and red cabbage and cheese and pomegranate. There's a aubergine dish and then bread. Mm. Oh, it's like a, it's almost like coleslaw style. Very creamy. Mm, it's really good though. Like just a hint of horseradish or mustard in there. Next, let's try the turkey. Mm. Oh, wow, that turkey is amazing. It's like it's like straight up turkey steak. How did they get like those chunks of turkey? And then that sauce. They said it was a spicy sauce. It's not really spicy, but it's flavorful. It has um, an acidity to it. And you can taste a bit of cumin in there. Aubergine and mustard seed, I'm not totally sure. Mm. Like light in flavor, but smoky. It's really good. I can see why this place is so popular. It's like home family cooking, 
like Sunday family lunch style, but every night. And it's just like good quality food, comforting food, family food. That was a delicious meal. I can see why it is so popular, and it is so popular. Uh, I think it's packed like that every single night. You have to make a reservation. But the food was really good. Just the taste, the simplicity of the dishes, the taste was really good. Um, and that is a very unique concept idea. And also that it's in a church, but a former church, but just a community that really brings people together, brings the whole neighborhood together. And that was a very fun experience for sure. Big thank you to Visit Copenhagen for inviting me on this trip. And be sure to subscribe to Mark Abroad. I'm gonna be publishing a lot more travel videos, accommodation reviews, transportation reviews, and travel tips. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.